Alrighty guys, welcome to today's episode. So what we're doing today is looking at another new Planeswalker, and that is Kiora. And Kiora is amazing. I really like her. Okay, so let's look at this. It says, Beckham Behemoths. Start the game with a fish. And a fish is just 0-1, so it's nothing, but it can defend. Start the game with a fish. After you have 10, 15, and 20 mana gems, add a random Leviathan to your hand. Guys, these Leviathans are huge. They're usually 10 tens, And pretty much, like, there's one that's like 10 10 stealth how do you how do you say that can't be blocked it's got ward it's got reach it's got oh my god there's a seven seven that returns two enemy creatures to the hand there's a like another behemoth that just buffs everything by like 10 i mean randomly so if you've got pan harmonic and you can double these effects guys it's insane it's insane okay let's look at her uh, unique cards kira's tide shape but gives you an empty manager and a bit of blocking so that's good Drag under is a good, don't necessarily use it because there's other ways that you can deal with things. It's it's really good disruption because you can pull any of their creatures and put it in the you know top eight cards of the deck. So they have to draw it again to play it again. And Octopumla, this is really high value. Like it's a six mana eight eight. And when you attack, if you still got a fish there, it gets plus two plus two. So you can just infinitely ramp. But if you don't have a fish, you get a fish. I'd put two of these in straight away. So let's look at the deck that we made guys. So. We took refreshment stand because we want to get to you know 20 mana gems we want to get all our leviathans we want to win the game so definitely take that we took at level one just mana coupons mana coupons to help us get to our ramps that we need to quicker so how are we ramping well next ramp the unique card that we looked that's specific to her we've got sylvan shrine that helps you get empty mana gems we've got our gear mender that helps us or gives us more charge to that specific artifact uh, we also have, where is it? Here we go, Plot. Gives you two cards and two empty mana gems. And the main dude that helps us out here is Primeval Titan. You summon him, you get an empty mana gem. When you attack, you get an empty mana gem. So you can also use Pan Harmonican on him to help you get to that first Leviathan that's going to pretty much change the game, guys. If you can't reach there in time, you've got Frost Titan. There you go, you can stun a person. When you attack, you stun a random person. Early game, what have we got early game? We've just got high value cards. See the two mana four three. It's gonna take down anything. You can it can help take down with grudge match as well. I love these guys when reversing dudes with secrets because they want to counter us. We can counter them, and if we don't counter them, we're a three three. It's just it should be an epic. This card should be an epic. It's just amazing card. Obviously, because we're ramping vine whip druid, people get scared of it. It's it's more of a bait than anything. Like. If they don't touch it, it will become a monster, but usually they just go for it, and so it's in there as a distraction, pretty much. We've got Plummets, because we've got very limited ways of dealing with flying creatures. Actually, besides Grudge Match, we wouldn't have any, so Plummet is really good. And here we got Momia Vig. Love this guy. Okay, so he summons Baby Crash, which is a 1-1 one -one experiment. At the end of the turn, Baby Crash gets plus one, plus one, and a random upgrade. But guess what? If you've got Pan Harmonican, you summon two Baby Crashes, and they both get upgrades. <laughs> okay, we've also got another legendary here, Omneth. So he's got Ward. And every time you get a gem, he doubles his power. So he can go crazy. He can be like 36 something. <laughs> and also we've got another debut monster with Reach. So he does deal with flying guys, but you can fight an enemy creature. And then you can use Pan Harmonican to fight another one. Like guys, you've got so many options. If you've got nothing on the field, you summon this guy. You've got three six sixes. If you've got Pan Harmonican on the field, you're going to have five six sixes. So guys, this deck is super fun. As long as you can just fight for that early game. Just make sure that you survive. Fight, fight, fight. You know, we also have a little bubble protection here for whoever we need it. For Ward, usually I would put on Momia Vig because he just makes your baby crashes OP. So guys, remember, fight that early game. You win the late game. All right, let's get straight into the game. Alrighty, guys, welcome to another game. And yes, it is Kiora. All we gotta do is last the early game. So can we do that? Damn the man on a Johnny. I don't like a Johnny, but definitely someone we're gonna play next. I think definitely a Johnny has been the most popular pick at the moment. Bubble shield. All right, let's do it. Birds of Paradise, I mean. We don't need the coupon yet. Alright, let's go for it. Hello, little friend. Oh, 
What a fishy. Okay, so we've got a coupon, so we can summon the druid out straight away, which will be also a good idea. We don't need to get Momia Vig out immediately. This guy's gonna get buffed. Plummet. I mean, these are all good options. These are all very good options. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll summon the Colonian Tusker and end. Only because we can put out Momia Vig the turn after, which I think is going to be the better play. There's the Warden. Panharmonican? Oh, sorry, gotta do that first. Let's go with the attack. Because then we get two baby crashes. Crazy. Alright, so he gets the buff. We are still fine with this. Because our next turn is going to be awesome. Okay. Block? No. It's just two damage. Why block? Okay. Alright, here, here comes Momia. Oh, oh, oh. Excuse me. Alright, here we go. Give us a baby crash. Panharmonican makes us get another one. Oh, that's going to be good. Oof. Okay, now they can tank as well. OP. Alright. So I think we're going to make it to the late game. As long as he can't get rid of these. If he gets rid of Momia Vig, that's a problem. If he's got Grudge Match, that's going to stop our uh, baby crashes. But hopefully not. We might get Ward. Arrgh. I was just going to Ward him next turn. Oh well, Baby Crash is worth nothing now. Slightly sad. He must have got Grudge Match just then as well. 5-6. There's a Night Wolf. And Birds of Paradise. 6 mana we can have. Okay, we might as well summon this guy now. Get him, get him running. Nah, we'll only defend. The following turn, we'll put the Primeval Titan in. We gotta hurry up and get the 10 mana as soon as possible. This guy's gonna start ramping like crazy. Oof, this is what I don't like to see. Alright. Well, we have to start blocking. I'm so sad he got rid of Momia Vig the... straight away. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go with another coupon. Summon Primeval Titan. We might pan harmonic in that too. Because we definitely want to rush. 5 2. I think we're gonna be on the defense this time. Rudge match is scary, but I think we're okay. Better on the on the defense. Blank a creature. Okay, the Titan's blanked. Oh, okay. I'm fine with that. Because the Titan's going to be the one to help us get our 10 mana. Okay, so why not? Why not? That's what we were looking for. The I was going to keep the Titan anyway. I mean, let's just do it. Let's see. Can he get rid of us? He might have a grudge match. Fine with that though. A wolf, okay. We have a grudge match, which is great. How can we do this the best, guys? We've also got the treetop lookout. If we do bubble, we can survive anyway. And then we grudge match this guy with this one. Oh, perfect. Guys, we got it. There we go. 
Okay, we're in. I reckon he'll defend. Oh, ooh, okay. Let's get ourselves another mana coupon. Only one. I'm saving Pan Harmonican for a different effect. Oh, this guy's just scary. He has to have like a stun all effect or a kill all effect, which is possible. Haste. Ooh, why are you a 7-7? Seven, seven? I'm just gonna defend like this. Because I'd rather get mana. The druid would be good now too. But definitely when I put this guy down. Alright, we're just gonna attack. Forget the druid. Okay, so remember, we didn't defend because we wanted the mana gem. Because the sooner we get all these guys down, the better. It's a whole island. Can you see we got we got houses on here? <laughs> People never knew what was coming. Move in real estate. Sun Titan. Okay. Oh, Octo Pamela. Not bad. I like that. Definitely attacking. Alright, he's in trouble. Mm. I'm so sad I can't use Plummet. Come on, give us give us some awesome flyer. <laughs> or any flyer. Here's a buff. The Titan's getting upgrades. Relentless. Whoa, that's massive. Haste. Nah. 2-1. Okay, if that's so, uh, Relentless, I can't believe he got Relentless. Mm. Oh, we'll just get rid of you then. Because he can't block now. Yeah, I think that's okay. He can't block now. Oof, that guy needs to go. Okay, here's another one. Okay, so we get a Leviathan. Let's do it. And this is where you go Pan Harmonican, guys. Hello? Alright! Woo! Alright, we got a fish. Pan Harmonican, 2 OP for Leviathans. Gonna have to defend that. There goes your elf warrior. No buffs for you, mate. Okay, he's got a plan. And I am a bit scared. He can wipe the field. Excellent. A buff? Grudge match? Okay. Fair. Because he can't defend with that guy, which is fair. Alright, he wants some elves, he wants some defense. He need more grudge matches. I only did that because I really don't care about this guy at all. He needs some big things to defend. He needs literally three creatures to defend. There's one. There's two. He needs one more. And he got it. 
There you go, he got it. We got another Octo Pamela. So we're just gonna go for it. He's gonna have to give them up. The haste will probably just kill the 6 4. Yeah. That's okay because we're on the winning side, guys. We're eventually gonna get another Leviathan, so. Come on. He's on the back foot now. I got this. Do you? Oops. <laughs> okay, even I forgot about the trample. Guys, Kiora is just crazy. Let her get to late game. I love this part. And she loves that part. <laughs> Alright guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe. I've got two beautiful subscribers and I'm looking for a third. So guys, till next time, Kevin Studios.